not only is Mac Jones the real deal, <laughs> the dynasty is back on track. And when he looks up at the mirror, he says, ah, there he is, the baby goat. It is obvious that Mac Jones should be the starting quarterback of the Patriots. Get Mac Jones, develop Mac Jones, da 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 Yeah, see, that, it reminds me right now if I can get a close-up on your hair, because one side is perfectly <laughs> cloth, and the other side is like Jimmy Nikolowski. <laughs> it's all over the place. He needs an absolute reset, but I still believe in him. Oh, my gosh. Mac Jones, I'm not leaving. I am not, Lee, I'm Wolf of Wall Street style right here with you, buddy. I'm not going anywhere, Mac Jones. You and me. He's got to be the dirtiest player in the league. Okay. He's also whines and yells at people. I don't know how you root for this guy. Well, I love him. That's he, why I root for him. It would be foolish for us to trade him because his lack of development is on the coaching staff, mm. not him. Mm. That's, the, that's my take. <laughs> That's supposed to embarrass me because I did the exact opposite. <laughs> I'm more fired up. Oh my goodness. The show that uh, wow. is going to get to Mac Jones in a second. We've got breaking news coming from all over the place. Yeah. The most important story is Mac Jones, but there's other stuff that's yeah. more recent. It's first things first today. Okay, breaking news Kirk Cousins headed to Atlanta. Four years, $180 million, $100 million guaranteed. Uh, let's take a look at his Vikings tenure. Overall, Started a little slow. The last few years have been hot. Some teams, uh, some people, excuse me. Yeah, he's 13 One and four. Year. And then yeah, last yeah. year was just the drops, but they were hot. They were more yards than Phillies. Yeah, aren't you a quarterback wins guy, Wilds? Oh, well, you I love, that doesn't look, look great. 17 and eight. Okay, right. 17 and eight in the last two years. All right, go ahead. Ask, go ahead. Doesn't look great. Some people had him going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, One yeah. great year there. Meanwhile. Uh, since Matt Ryan left, the Falcons have had the yeah. fifth worst passing offense. So, mm -hmm. Nick, your reaction. I get it. And if you're Raheem Morris, you have another chance, and you have familiarity with Kirk Cousins' his time in Washington. One of the reasons your first time as a head coach didn't go right is didn't have the quarterback. Yep. He's like, you know what? I'm locking in stability. You're also locking in a ceiling, and you're not doing it cost, you know, incredibly cost-effectively. The four for 180, it, it, listen, $100 million guaranteed. He's going to get $90 million over the first couple of years. It's $45 million a year, which is below the top of the quarterback market, which is good because Kirk Cousins is below the top of the quarterback yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if they're, I, with the brew, with the luxury of my job not being on the line, I would have liked the higher upside, more lottery ticket, not locked into aspects of Justin Fields. Uh, if he's a, if it doesn't work, you're drafting a quarterback next year. And if it does work, you have a younger player or a cheaper player with a higher upside. I understand why for the Falcons, when they say we spent a top 10 pick on a running back, a top 10 pick on a wide receiver, a top 10 pick on a tight end, that we have yep. all this built to yep. ready to yep. go offense. We need a quarterback that's not going to drag us down the way their quarterbacks have post Matt Ryan. So I understand it. He's, you know, he's one of the two best quarterbacks in the division. We'll see if he's better than Baker at 36 coming off an Achilles. I think there's a real question there. Yeah, you think? Yeah. And well, so, no one's talking well, about the guy. Well, he never was a mobile guy yeah, anyway. Yeah, so but I don't know that that's – I agree with you. It, 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 that's a good point, but that doesn't mean that there's not going to be any ill effects from the right. Achilles. So I understand it. I think it's a needle mover in that you now expect the, the Falcons to be in the playoff picture – not oh, yeah. just because they're in the NFC South, but like a you know a 10-11 win. They team. better be. Yes, they better but, be more than in the picture. Okay, go ahead. They better be front and center in the playoffs. Okay. They have to make the playoffs now. And a week ago, I I felt like you did. Go for Justin Fields. You don't have to pay him much money. He's young. He matches the age of the receivers yep. and the running back that you have. So you know, see what he can do. But when you look at the fact that their offensive coordinator Zach Robinson is from the Rams with Raheem, but Sean McVay's system. And the talk was that they didn't feel, which I, I get, that Justin Fields necessarily fits that system. Yeah. They want a guy that can fling it. I mean, I'm, this is not Matt Stafford to the no. Rams because they're not about to win the Super Bowl, but they want a quarterback who's proven to be able to throw the football and throw it well. And so I get that. And, and Raheem, I think, is going to do a good job with that defense. That's what he does. Sure. And I think offensively, we know the McVay system is good. Cousins should fit into it. We know he can put up numbers in the regular season. They got a great offensive line. You know I'm big on the pro football oh, geez, focus. Man, really, They're the yeah. fourth-ranked offensive no, well, line wow. in the league. It. It, no, right. That's right. So they got a that's good right. offensive line, receivers, running backs, Bijan. And, so, and look, Bijan, most running backs are at their best 
early. early. 100%. So, you you know, let's just go for it now. The question, of course, is what will Cousins do in the playoffs and in the big games? Yeah, but you got to get to the big games yeah. before you can find out again. So, yeah. I got to be honest, I like this. I think they can win the division. And then you take your chances in well, the playoffs. I mean, they were alive for the division last year. Right. It was terrible. So, they should yeah. be able yeah. to win it. I still like the bake show in the division. The, uh, what do you do with – what should the Vikings do now? I'm um, well, Justin Jefferson and the best wide receiver in the I mean, whole they're pretty league. clearly going to draft somebody. They're at 11, and so they will either move, move up. up or they will take – If I, I don't at this point, it doesn't seem like McCarthy's going to fall, but Bo Nix will be there. Michael Penix, who seems to have very drastic yeah. draft evaluations like on what people think of Penix. By the way, so does Jaden Daniels. Some people think that if your Patriots take J.J., that Jaden could fall We're not substantially. Taking J.J. Jaden falls. We're not taking the, J.J. And, and, and so, but I think the, the Vikings no. are in – you know, they, they might be last house on the left for Justin Fields. Well, that to me, but, that's a huge question. What's next for Justin Fields? Yeah. I We're, mean, the, uh, the Patriots, the, the, the Vikings. Patriots, Vikings, Raiders. I guess Raiders. the Raiders got to do something. But they, whoever can't move up, I guess, between the Vikings and the Raiders. I don't think it's the Patriots. We're, we're starting fresh. But this no, is, I agree. I don't think they're the But I'm just saying the where they're, it's – the list of where he can go is shrinking. Correct. Yeah. No, the, and the the idea that the cow, the Cowboys, sorry, the Bears are going to get a significant pick for them for him. That's gone. Now, I mean, they won't have to take the humiliation of like three years after drafting a guy in the first round, trading for a sixth. But <laughs> you don't know. That. First of all, you do not they're, know that. That's a nice you do not segue. Know that. Okay, I think I do. What's he going for? What better than that? But let's talk. Let's about, see. Let's see where he goes. Yeah, let's see. I don't get me wrong. I know I, I don't Justin know. Fields has won twenty games. The, okay. One of those against the Patriots. <laughs> uh -huh. Fair. Yeah. Fine, we'll get to this. Brew, the question here. Where was he traded to? Yeah, let's get to it. Why do you think? Why? The, why? Why do you think he's traded to Jacksonville? That everyone needs a backup quarterback. But you go think ahead. So? They have, do they have a backup quarterback? Maybe not. But go ahead. Let's. <laughs> I think let, they did. You're C. jumping C. the gun Bethard, here. Who, yeah, go ahead. Who couldn't do it in? Uh, Brew, should I give up on Mac Jones? The answer is no. But I want to hear your take on it. Wilds, uh, you've always gone way overboard on you think Mac. I mean, I mean baby goat, record, all that. He stuff, made the Pro Bowl. Way and overboard. We went to the playoffs all just right. like C.J. Stroud did. First that year. said, I'm tickled by your unconditional love for Mac Jones. Thank you. And so I'm instead of sitting here ripping you, I'll do I'm going to give you some encouragement. Oh, Good. that's all cool. right. Look. Mac Jones, you can say what you want, Nick, about Mac Jones isn't this, Mac Jones isn't that, and like I said, Wilds overrated him. But they to say the Patriots mishandled him and ruined whatever chance he had of being a good quarterback, at least in his first three years, is an understatement. First, like, more last two because he was excellent. First, first well, year. excellent is a little much, but he was, he was good as a rookie year, as rookie year. Yeah. Last two years, you know, they brought in these offensive coordinators who really weren't offensive coordinators that you mentioned. And, and then Bill O'Brien, you get one. Yeah, Bill O'Brien. He's fine, but it just – I think by that time, Mac's confidence was gone. Now, if you want to rip him, say he's not mentally tough enough, we'll see. That might but be my fair. point is that it was toxic for him in New England. I think this is exactly what the doctor ordered. Ooh. Go to Jacksonville. Yeah. Doug Peterson is good with quarterbacks. Yeah. There's no pressure on you at all. You're not going to play unless Trevor gets hurt. Great so you, you get a year to get your confidence back, to work in a good system, to work with Trevor. They're same, same age, essentially. Yeah. Work with Trevor. And then, look, Marcus Mariota, Sam Darnold, Mitch Trubisky, all these guys got second chances. So I think but Max they failed in Matt, That's fine, but they got the chance. <laughs> Baker. Baker got a second <laughs> and third correct. chance. Okay. So you sit behind Trevor for a year. Uh -huh. You learn. Uh -huh. You get your confidence back. You get your swagger back. Yeah. And then somebody you will take a chance on okay. you. So okay. that's, that's, that's the encouragement. Yeah. Sure, it feels good to me. Which is a good plan. I'm surprised you're so confident. In what? Well, let me just read you like how. I think it was strange that Jacksonville went and got him. Why would Jacksonville go and get – they have Trevor Lawrence and they have a backup. So either get an old veteran to back him up to sort of help him. Because isn't the backup quarterback supposed to support the starting quarterback in general, bro? Yes. Especially if you're a young quarterback. Get a veteran. Like, here's – he can't – Mac Jones has nothing to teach him. And here's how Trevor has gone. We know that he plays poorly the full first year. We don't talk about it. Then he played for, poorly his beginning of his sophomore year. Then he would, played great. Then he went to the playoff game again. Tail up halves. Played horrible in the first half. 
great in the second half. Excellent. This year, played great the first half, and then, wow, loss, win against Tennessee, win against Houston, loss, lost, loss, loss to Tampa Bay, loss to Tennessee. That's it. So we've, he's, so he's you're saying one, Mac, two, three, four, five. He, he, he ended the year with five straight losses. And don't get me wrong, Mac Jones ended the year with one, two, three, four straight losses, but he was benched. Don't it, get me wrong. So I'm just saying the idea what, 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 that there's this gulf is this between Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones, I think is, is uh, I don't think people have looked at the numbers. Here's the full I, screen. I know you're a numbers guy. Look at their not. I mean, I, 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 he's not backing up Patrick Mahomes. No, okay, he's so, not backing okay. up Joe Burrow. Wild. He's backing up a guy who that, the numbers look very similar. Okay. I, I didn't even do a so blind then, Wild. Resume. Okay, so let me hmm. listen. I well, mean, Brew? I can't no, believe that's, that's I that's cannot. I was going to be nice, but now I, I didn't can't sign move. him to Jacksonville. I can't, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You well, you did Brew. Can I can I yeah. steal a line it's, from you? Oh sure. That was cute. <laughs> and, but it wasn't really. It was more embarrassing, but like with a little kid when you're like, oh, you're so cute, and you're like, ah, a little cringeworthy. Wild. Thank you, bro. They Will your opinion on this change at all when Trevor, whether we think it's a smart idea or not, when this team signs him to $230 million here in the next few months? I hope they do. Well, that, okay, and so that here's, would change. The, of of course, course it would. Because here's what we know we know that. And I'm going to need a minute here, but because we have a lot to do, because this is the ultimate classic three by you. I'm not Everything ready to say Mac that. Jones related. I'm not ready to and say that. And the ultimate classic two by me, which is it all. You guys say, oh, it was Joe Judge. It was Matt Patricia. It was Bill Belichick. We know when the downfall started. There is a line of demarcation in Mac Jones's career. Brew, you're a numbers a game that guy. They won. Do I you exactly like a game the that win? They won. Well, the win game. They won the game. Uh, Hubs, can we show the win game? Up until Bill Belichick publicly humiliated him, things were going swimmingly for him. Since then, Wilds, those numbers are jarring. And I know you love to great. hold on to you know, the rookie season. But now the data is in. And so I would like to show you a few more full screens. We can roll through them. What That's do these one, four game. quarterbacks have in common? If we can show it to you, what do you think those four quarterbacks have in common, Brew? Do you know? Um, Let's go ahead and reveal it. They're on the bench. Yeah, they all somehow made a Pro Bowl recently. So that oh. Pro Bowl berth you're holding on to doesn't mean that much. What is Mac Jones' value? Let's show the next five Probably guys if we could. Well. All right, are we familiar with any of those guys? Other than, by the way, John Runyon Jr. just signed a nice John deal Runyon. to play guard. John Runyon Jr., you know his father. Oh. That's his son. Um, your guy's punter. What do they all have in common? They were drafted with the 192nd pick. That's what the NFL said Mac Jones' value was now, which now means in a quarterback class <laughs> of three years ago, Brew, the NFL says Trey Lance is more valuable. Come on. What? Hold on. Wild. So I, I don't, first of all, I do not. Wild. Two I names that. for you. Well, to throw it at him. What? Tom well, I mean, Brady. I mean, that's okay, that's any fine. 192. I, I, I'm just telling you what the NFL. The, and this isn't Nick talking. The NFL said Trey Lance is worth a four. And Mac Jones is worth a six. No, that's what stop, the NFL stop, stop. is telling you don't, us. You do not believe that. that. What? Trey Lance cannot get on the field. I, I, you believe? I, you know that Trey Lance, well, there's I, a four from Jerry Jones, and I, that's it. I, but this is not about Trey Lance versus Mac no, Jones. No, but it's also one guy made the Pro Bowl. I, one guy, I'm just, guy can't listen, get on the wilds, field. Listen, Wilds. I'm I Brew again. If I can steal another line, I'm not a feelings guy. I'm a facts so guy. So why did Jacksonville sign him? Because so you, why did they sign him? Because, why they, why they, did Trevor Lawrence? Has Trevor Lawrence signed his deal yet or no? No. Why don't they Is there Trevor any concern? Thank you, I mean, You guys are out of your mind. I'm not you saying. I'm just him. saying he makes an interesting point. He doesn't point. make any interesting Why points. Why would they drop go the get banner. Mac Jones? No, no. This is drop Why the, would they drop go the get first Mac banner. Jones. Because they need a backup. The baby goat in era ended with a whimper. And Wilds tried to do a little sleight of hand about whether or not this is about Trevor. But since you're making it about Trevor, I'd love to bring Trevor into it. Because Trevor now finally, drop the next banner, please, has a royal squire to carry around <laughs> his belongings. And since we're talking Trevor, can we bring the gentleman in? Because it's been a while. Oh, wow. But we get to hear I thought we were again. done with him. Yes. Wow. Yeah, since you made it about Trevor, let's make it about Trevor. Because Mac Jones is now his cup bearer. <laughs> Great to see you as always. Good to see these guys again. Honestly, fellas, I do appreciate that you make time for coming on the show. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that Trevor Lawrence lost 
five games yeah. to close out their season when they were in firm. Yeah. Fir, I think they were in first place. He got, place. He got injured he's got him twice. And we, but and this is what, not about Trevor Lawrence. It is about they, Trevor are Lawrence. Are they watching? Are they looking at Trevor and saying, Okay, let's go get right, it done. I, they I, just went out and got I, Gabe I, Davis. You got some receivers. Yes. had receivers and last they are year going, too. So, so listen, what you, I just want both wondering. of you. I can't believe if he, Zach you, Wilson. No, I'm Melvin just saying. Like, if, if, no, hold if on. Zach Wilson, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Suppose the Patriots kept uh, kept Mac Jones and they signed Zach Wilson as his backup. The first thing you would say is, you know what? They picked a guy from his draft class. They don't totally believe in him. Yes, but we, there, there's a chance that is not, outside of injury that if this guy, this is, I don't know, throws I, four interceptions in a half or I, loses five straight <laughs> games to boot Lyle. us out of the playoffs, maybe we look in another okay. direction before we make a $200 million investment. Okay, and, and so what I'm, saying. Saying, and what I am saying is, and this is where I want both of you on the record on, because I can't believe you let Wilds trick you here. No, I mean, is, I'm just saying it will, makes sense. Okay, so, so you're saying why not sense. bring in an old right, vet so who's no me, competition? So let me ask saying. the question. So what will both of you say about this disaster of a segment we've just done yeah. when Trevor Lawrence signs his contract before the next game is played? If they if they do that, then clearly Wilds' theory is wrong. But that's you're you're no I, I, no. All I'm saying is it it makes some and sense. And what will that's you right. say? Oh, well, I, I don't know. I haven't seen uh, many horrible contracts in the last, no, but, I don't know, no, that's not, 18 hold months. On, but that's not, wait, it will mean wait, they wait, believe wait, 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 fully in Trevor. Well, the Broncos but, totally yes, believed right. in Russell Wilson, yeah. and the Browns totally believed in yes. uh, Deshaun but Watson, are, and Jacksonville but totally believed right, in Trevor you Lawrence. Are now, so, are, so what are you, I'm just curious, what are you arguing? I think that, that the Jacksonville Jaguars are like, hmm. So that will be. That's all I say, like. So will that so that will be proven dead wrong if they give him the contract before the season starts, correct? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. There's not a an inkling no, within your not psyche at all. Just the, you guys thinks, sound like Trey Lance with Dak Prescott. That's what you no, guys sound no, like. No, 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 right no. Because yes, Trevor yes, yes, hasn't yes. been as good as Dak Prescott. And Mac Jones has been better than Trey Lance. Okay. I'll be honest I with you. I mean, yeah. that's just be honest. I kind of pulled that segment off. No, you didn't. I did, I you did. somehow You were all like, ah! ah! You somehow <laughs> yeah, I, I pulled it off. How much do you love this? I mean, this is, listen, I'm, I'm happy for all involved. I also, the, Chris Jones last year wanted a two-year extension that would be starting right now, you know, the, for yep. thir- just under $32 million a year. The Chiefs didn't want to give it to him. He then w- helped win them the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. and now he got a three-year extension. Worth just under thirty-two million a year because I understand it. Listen, that and we have it as five ninety-five on the screen. That's a little misleading. It, it's five for one fifty-eight is what that should say. But he has three. He has ninety-five million guaranteed over right. three years. Mm-hmm. So it's essentially a three-year ninety-five million dollar deal. So he got one more year than even he wanted because he helped them win the Super Bowl awesome. and bet on himself. Now let me say this quickly because Brew, I am the cap guy. They're going to pay him $95 million over the next three years. Only $7 million is showing up on this year's cap. So that bill will come due. It absolutely will come due. But they are chasing being the greatest team of all time. Right. That's what they're chasing. You, and when you're right. chasing that, you bring back the best defensive player in football, and that's what he is, the best defensive player in football. Look, I agree with everything you said. I love the message this sends to the locker room because if you let him go – then, obviously, you're trying to win the Super Bowl and all that. But there's a little, wow, we didn't, did we go all in? We let our second best player go, mm-hmm. right? Now, you send a message to the players that we are all in. We are trying to become the first NFL team in history to win three straight championships. And they, they work, this just, to me, gives them an extra boost and jolt that wouldn't have been there had he gone. I agree. It was a rough day for me. This made me happy. Okay, though. can I add a little uh, uh, other context Oh, yeah, quickly? sure. All right, so he's only 29, and he's missed – He's out of 151 possible games he could have played in his career, he's missed nine, eight due to injury total. So he's durable, yep. and he hasn't quite, you know, hit that over 30 part of it. And all three Super Bowl runs, the first Super Bowl win, three pass – pass breakups on the final two drives to win the Super Bowl against Jimmy G. The second Super Bowl run, AFC title game, Joe Burrow, oh my God, he's going to rip their heart out again. A sack to end the drive. And this Super Bowl run hits Josh Allen with Deion Dawkins, so Josh can't hit Shakir Mm -hmm. right before the bass miss. And then we all know, got the free run at 
Purdy where Purdy just threw it away in overtime, which is why let's do what we're supposed to do, which is drop Chiefs <laughs> banners. This kind of a foul. There we go. Three peat on deck. That's pretty good. I mean, it's going to be yeah, the greatest like team of all time. The fact that he tweeted that picture like last week. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. And at the parade, we didn't get to talk about it, but at the parade, he said <laughs> drunkenly, I'm going to be back one, two, three more years. Uh, Saquon headed to Philadelphia. Next on First Things First. And the Fox Sports Channel on Sirius XM. Check that out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.